Now, this is California. The richest, most populous state in the Union. I don't need a geography lesson from you, Luthor. Oh, yes, of course, you've been there. I do forget you. Get around, don't you? <laughs> uh, where was I? California. Uh, California, right. Uh, oh, the San Andreas Fault, maybe you've heard of it. Yes, it's the joining together of two land masses. The fault line is unstable and shifting, which is why you get earthquakes in California from time to time. Wonderful. Couldn't have said it better myself. Everything west of this line is the richest, most expensive real estate in the world. San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Everything on this side of the line is just hundreds and hundreds of miles of worthless desert land, which just so happens to be owned by... Alex Luthor Incorporated. Now, call me foolish, call me irresponsible. It occurs to me that a 500 megaton bomb planted at just the proper point would, uh, would destroy most of California. Millions of innocent people would be killed. And the West Coast, as we know it, would fall into the sea. Bye-bye, California. <laughs> Hello, new West Coast, my West Coast. This scene in the 1978 movie Superman really captured my imagination. According to Lex Luthor, Los Angeles is just one bomb away from falling into the ocean sinking the most expensive real estate in California into the ocean, making worthless desert land the new west coast, and suddenly very valuable. Spoiler alert, Lex Luthor did not succeed in his plan for a new west coast, but many years later, the movie Escape from Los Angeles had another different take, where Los Angeles, through an earthquake measuring 9.6 on the Richter scale, became an island and deportation point for undesirables. So why are these movies even making this kind of suggestion about Los Angeles? And why is the question, will Los Angeles fall into the ocean even come up? I did an internet search and here's what I found out. Well, as you probably know, the Earth's surface is made up of large tectonic plates and two of them, the Pacific and North American plates, meet right in California at the San Andreas Fault, a two and a half hour drive from Los Angeles. The San Andreas Fault is about 750 miles long and the two tectonic plates slip or creep along storing up stress which when released results in an earthquake. The magnitude of the earthquake will depend on the amount of stress stored up. So the idea of Los Angeles falling into the ocean or becoming an island due to earthquakes is based on actual science. So will Los Angeles one day fall into the ocean or detach from the mainland and become an island for undesirables? Tectonic plates are really large, and the Pacific Plate, which starts at the San Andreas Fault in California, and everything west of it, including the Pacific Ocean all the way to Japan, Papua New Guinea, and New Zealand, is one solid piece. There are several different types of faults. There is a convergent boundary, where the plate will go under the other, a divergent boundary, where the plate will move away from each other, and a transform boundary, where the plates move laterally or sideways. If the San Andreas Fault was a convergent boundary and the west side of the fault moves under the east side, it seems possible that eventually Los Angeles will go under the other plate and get smushed, just as bad as falling into the ocean. If the San Andreas Fault was a convergent boundary, Los Angeles would detach and possibly become an island. But according to the US Geological Survey, the San Andreas Fault is a transform boundary and the plates move sideways. So no amount of earthquakes will cause this part of California, including Los Angeles, to fall into the ocean or become an island. But here's something interesting to think about. The San Andreas Fault is a transform fault, and the Pacific Plate that has the left coast on it is moving northwest at an average distance of 1.38 inches per year, about the speed at which hair grows. Eventually one day, Los Angeles will be next to San Francisco. So to answer the question, will Los Angeles fall into the ocean? No. Because of LA's location on the Pacific Plate and the way it's moving as a transform boundary, Los Angeles will not fall into the ocean. But one day, LA will be only an hour or two drive from San Francisco, as opposed to the six hour drive it is now on the five. Imagine what Los Angeles real estate prices will be then. This is Dale Shin, LA area realtor. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.